Hey there folks, today I have this decade resistor that I'm going to record a video on. I'm giving this one to a friend of mine and I wanted to uh, do a short video on it before I do. Now you think it might be easy, it's a decade resistor, dial the resistance, it's done. Uh, but there are some falls that you have to be worried about. So I'm going to go through an example use of it. Um, so we're investigating this light emitting diode over here. This is a light on LTW-2S3D7. Its maximum DC current is 30 milliamps. It's specified for 16,000 millicandola at 20 milliamps. And the forward voltage drop is expected to be between 3.3 and 3.6 volts at 20 milliamps. So the question that we're answering here is what resistor we, do we want to use for this circuit? Now you could just plug it into a calculator, do the math, figure it out, but it's not quite that simple because um, the forward voltage drop isn't known that precisely. It's 3.3 to 3.6 volts. Um, on top of that, you might not want to put 20 milliamps through here. It might be too bright for you. So the easiest thing to do is to get your decade resistor, dial some resistances, and sort of investigate what makes the most sense for your application. So I have the uh, power supply here is set uh, for 12 volts with a current limit. You can't see it on here, but the current limit is about 25 milliamps, as we'll see later. And uh, the voltage says 11.9. It's actually about 12 volts. This needs to be calibrated. So I'm going to turn the output on, and we'll see the LED light up. And we'll see with the current resistance, it's currently set to 1 kilo ohm. We have about 9 milliamps at 11.8 uh, or 12 volts. And so the LED looks pretty bright. That might be exactly what you want. You might want it to be a little bit brighter. So if you want to make it a little bit brighter, what you would want to do is lower the resistance. This is the first pitfall I was discussing. So if you were to lower it from 1 to 0 kilo ohms, the decade resistor would be completely zeroed out. It's a short. And if your power supply isn't set to current limit, you could destroy your LED. So I'm going to do that and you'll see what happens. So here we have the power supply switches to constant current mode. The current jumps to about 25 milliamps and the LED is quite bright. So this is still within the safe operating parameters for this LED. It's below 30 milliamps, but it's definitely not good. If I did not have my current limit set appropriately as on this power supply, I might have blown up the LED. So that's the first pitfall. So the best thing you want to do in this application going from one kilo ohm to zero kilo ohms is actually to dial the next one down all the way up and then go from here. So right now I have 1.9 kilo ohms dialed. I'll drop it to 0 0.9 kilo ohms and we'll see the current is a little bit higher. The LED is a little bit brighter and perhaps this is a good application. So another thing you can do is if you just have standard resistors sitting around, you might say which of the standard resistors is the best and you can actually dial those resistances in on here and see what they are. So for example, if you have a 470 ohm resistor with our 12 volts of input voltage, we'll have a fairly bright LED with about 18 milliamps of forward current. Um, this is really good setup for this if you want the brightest possible LED, but you know if you want something a little bit more dim, this is something that you can investigate with this decade resistor. In my case, I actually ran the LED relatively lower um, with a resistance of about 1.47 ohms to get a uh, current of about 6.1 milliamps and that's something that's not too bright for my application and that's what I ended up with. So there we go, we went through setting uh, values on the decade resistor, one of the pitfalls you can run into by accidentally shorting it out. Um, and another problem you may have is if you have too high of a voltage going into this that's not current limited, uh, you can actually damage the resistors with too much voltage or too much power. That's all for today. Take care.